We're getting close to the end of this game now. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? It wasn't... It was... Why didn't they change this for the version of the game where you don't have fucking... The, the, there's nothing wrong. Why, why? Why don't they fix it? Because it doesn't make sense. Whoa. Why? Fucking hell, calm down. Why? Why? What happened? Why is that playing? Why? Why did that play so loud? Why did it play at all? That never happens. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? That was fucking hilarious. What the fuck? It just loads in and just blares out its use family. Why? Why did that just happen? What the fuck? <laughs> that was fantastic. Okay, so I took a break during the recording and I'm, I'm back to... Oh, fuck. Fuck. I knocked my fucking controller off my desk and declined the fucking mission. Fuck. Alright, let's just let's just go at it again. I have chocolate biscuits now, uh, so it feels like a classic Let's Play. A classic Lasers Let's Play where I have fucking biscuits. What is up with the screen? Oh my god, why is the brightness yeah, so high? Why? Is this what the whole fucking thing is gonna look like? Is this looks like fucking shit. Why does it fucking look like this? This is horrible. Jesus, hold on. What the fuck? This looks so bad. It's so bright. Like, the brightness is turned up, but they haven't adjusted, like, any contrast with it, so it just looks fucking horrible. It's so misty as well. I guess that that's... I mean, I get the point. I just think the brightness is up too high. Like, I don't care about the colouring. I don't care about the mist. What I care about is the horrendous brightness. That looks so ugly. Like, I can't even see properly. For sure, change that. Um, that's not nice. Uh, anyway... I like that it looks different, though. I think that... I mean, maybe it's just fog. Maybe it's just very foggy. Maybe that's what it is. But it wasn't like that when I was outside the city before I started the mission. It looked very... Pretty normal, really. Like, it looked just... It just it, like, the colouring was still there. And it looked very dark and, like, stuff. Like, it should with Savonarola being in charge and shit. But it didn't look like this. Like, what the fuck? I guess maybe it's just... This is just because it's also foggy in weather. And so the colouring... Plus, um... The foggy weather just doesn't go together well in the DLC. Like, as soon as the weather changes, it'll probably look alright. Uh, but whatever. We'll find our way to Machiavelli now. I wanted a chance to eat these chocolate biscuits. I'm actually quite sad that I, I haven't had a cutscene yet. So that I can nom down. The sun is always looking nice, though. Sometimes I wish the assassin would return to Firenze. And we might be free of his tyranny. Hello. Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. Then it's true. Savamarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. Right, buddy. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's in from, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. True. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. Pauline. 
Okay, let's go. I'm gonna get in a biscuit. So, you'll have to forgive me. Alright. Let's go. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Shite. Boom. No. Niccolo Machiavelli. Come here, you dickhead. Why did this happen? This never happens. God damn it, this sword should be super powerful. I don't understand why it's not super powerful. Oh, no, it is. Look at that. That's pretty good. Come on, lads. Oh, fuck's sake. There we go. Alright, this way. Alright, this way. Andiamo. The director sword will be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own. Correct? Si. And they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear? Si. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. If we can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent, he will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of Isabetto's. And this is where it begins. The fuck? Oh my god. Right, well, we'll do this one first. Soz. Please do live alone. Get out of here. Okay, throwing knives. Boom. What the fuck? Florence guards are meant to die quicker. How come I can't get up there? Oh. Okay, here we go. And let us begin. Reject the base and material. Seek salvation in the flames. Good, Jacob. Okay, let's go. Decade. Of worship. And if others might gaze upon my creation and see something of the Lord within, well, would they not be all closer to him? And so I thought myself an artist, a speaker, a preacher. Yeah, boy. What have I done? What have I done? Your actions were not your own. But they were. My own self-doubt let him hold me as he did. I am sorry. As am I. Non è una scelta. Il compio a cuor leggero. Requiescat in pace. Let's leave. Run away. Oh god, that's so aggressive. Hey! 
<laughs> Why was that noise happening? Yay! Next, Lieutenant. How many are there? Nine, I think? Jesus Christ. I'm trying to do these systematically. See, this looks fine now the mist's gone. What do you mean that's you? That's no one. There's no one here. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's another mission. Okay. Non si passa. Do you hear me? Until you've all submitted and given yourself over to the prophet, Savonarola, this bridge will remain closed to you. He's not the prophet. Okay. I hear you moaning and complaining. You say you have things to do, places to go. Obligations to fulfill. Ha! You have but one obligation. To submit. Why fight us? Why raise Got him. Your precious have you. Oh no. There we go. That worked out for the best, didn't it? Wear a noble's clothes. How is it Savonarola charmed you? Wealth and power do not ensure contentment. I wanted even more. And now instead, you have nothing. Questo non è che un atto dovuto. Requiescat in pace. Away we go. We got this. 42 down. It's good. We're doing good. Oh, fuck off. The sequence is extremely tedious. It just is. I, you know. Come on. There we go. The Volpe and Paola. The Volpe is fucking trying to race him. Thank Ah, oh, yes. Sneezed. Sneezes are great. They are fantastic. I'm really happy that they exist. Right, let's go do this one. Because that's two down. Seven more to go. Shouldn't take too long. I hold here a list. Nine names. Nine men who need to die. I mean, it's it's almost as good as that, but not really all at all as good. Anyway. Let's go. Which one's this? Is this the farmer dude? No, wait, hold on. Is this the doctor? Oh, no, this is the, the, the preachy dude. Yeah, no, I remember. People of Firenze, come gather round. Listen well to what I say. The end approaches. Now is the time to repent, to beg God's forgiveness. God, there's like three voices in this game. <laughs> Don't you see? These signs are all around us. Unrest, famine, disease, corruption. These are the harbingers of darkness. Stand 
Damn it. No, that's the wrong guy. Don't do that. I can't believe I messed that up. I normally do that really well. I think I'm just trying to do them as quick as I can because I don't really want to be doing this right now. Like, this specific memory thing was like, I really don't like it. It's very tedious. I feel, like, it's fun the first time. It's fun, like, if you, I suppose, I don't know. It's just not a great sequence. It's, just not, it's very tedious. Like, nothing really happens. It's just taking out a bunch of fucking lieutenants. Since it is your own. <laughs> not all of us require deception. To be convinced, I already believed. All I said is true. Nothing is true. Oh, I love that. All I said is true. Nothing is true. Yay. Of all pay again, winning the race. Right. Next one. Open up the map. This one. The fuck! I swear I was. That was weird. I swear I was facing the right way then. It really isn't the time for the, that Florence music to be playing. It's very, it's very happy music, and this is not a happy time for Florence right now. There's fucking springboards all over the city. Who put them there? I don't understand. Where did they come from? Who was like, oh, you know what Venice, uh, you know what Florence needs more of? Uh, springboards. We don't have any springboards on the buildings. Why do we? Why do we need springboards? We just need springboards. Look, just trust me, they look great. On, on the edge of the building with a little red tassel on it. Like, come on. Who doesn't love a good springboard? I Look, they're just, they're needed. Like, what even is a springboard? Like, this is the 15th century. I don't know what a springboard is. I, what the fuck? I don't understand why they exist in the game. It literally, it doesn't make sense. It's so fucking retarded. Oh, God, whatever. I don't really care, but, like, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, at least the, the, the zip lines made sense in Revelations, because they were put there by assassins. Like, they even explained that in the in the game. They were like, you know, they've, they've been put here by assassins, you know, for, the, for this assassin use in the city because of the hook play, blah, blah, blah. They never explain why the springboards are here. They just are. Like, they, they just ex expect you to accept that there's springboards all throughout Florence all of a sudden now. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand why they put them in the game. Like, it's actually really stupid when you think about it. Like, I actually don't understand why. They, they don't need to be here. It, it really doesn't make sense. They were like, for this DLC, I think we should introduce springboards all over Florence. I think that's what we need to do. Um, because, you know, that's just something this DLC needs. Like, it just makes sense to have it in the game. It, it doesn't make any sense to have it in the game. I don't understand why. Like... Again, it's not that it actually matters, like, I don't care. It doesn't affect the game at all. The game is still great with them, because it, it doesn't matter. I just, it's just one of the things I don't get. Like, why? Who made that decision? Was it fucking Patrice Desolée? Like, was he like, we need springboards in this DLC? You are welcome. You are welcome. Trades. We can ill afford to let their contents fall into the wrong hands. Okay, this is one I remember this one took me ages when I first played it. Like fucking ages. We'll see just how tough the old are. When they're forced to go without food. Uh this took me so long, I remember this entire fucking speech. Except seven are all as their leader. Oh god. Still hold any sway in this city is beyond me. But that was before the Prophet opened my eyes. Come on, friend. Come on, come on up here.
Okay, I'm trying to make sure that everyone is out of here. We look like everything's going good, I think. We just gotta wait until these guys turn around so they can't see us. Um, hold on. There we go. And that, guys, is the perfect strategy to beating this Templar. Yeah. What? what have I done? You tried to force devotion. Sometimes, the people must be told what to think. No good has ever come of that. Benché il mio cuore sia turbato, la mia mente è lucida. Requiescat in pace. Oh no! Wait, I know what to do. Smoke bombs. No, please don't come after me. This is tedious enough as it is without you guys fucking me up all the time. Stop! Come on. Let's get out of here. We got this. Alright. We did this. Lealmente. Okay, let's go uh, to this one over here on its own because we're probably closest to that. That's why it's on its own. Um, codex page. Oh, we still got money in the belt. I don't even need it. Like I don't need the money. There's nothing I'm going to be spending it on, so it doesn't. It does not matter. Your orders are simple. Keep watch over these fields. And ensure no harm comes to the bundles of Fiendo. It Fiendo. may seem a mundane task, but it is critical nonetheless. We got this. Let's go. Without this most basic resource, they lose the means to resist. They will be forced to stand down. Already, many have fallen into line. They require clothing, food, shelter. And all of these things are born of death. I hear you grumbling. You think this post a waste of time. But you must understand. Our very existence depends upon keeping all of this secure. You don't believe it. Let me explain. The Fieno feeds our horses. They, in turn, pull our carts, which transport our goods to other cities where trade is conducted. Way. Got him! Yay! You would have let your own people starve. And for what? Too long I suffered their insults. They called me simple and low class. I wanted their respect. I'm afraid you do not have mine. Per quanto oh, sia that's great. I think this sequence is probably a perfect example of how Assassin's Creed 2 is just complete muscle memory when I play it. Like, I'm not even, like, exper I don't take anything in. I'm just... It's just muscle memory. All I do is I rem like, just... I just do it. Like, it's not even like I have to consciously think about what I'm doing. I just fucking do it, and it happens, and then I finish it, and that's it. Like, I, I played it too many times to even begin to think of a, n another way of playing through the game. Like, there's just one way of playing through the game, and it's the way I do it, and, and then it's done. <laughs> so, you know. And that's the same with Brotherhood and Revelations as well. I played them, like, Assassin's Creed 2 more so, though, because that's the one I played the most. Alright, let's go to this one. Ah. 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 
That's a that's a real song. Um, no. Get the fuck in here. You're not allowed up here. Oh, this reminds me of the map. What's it called? Is it called Piazza? Is that the map? No. Maybe? I don't remember. The map from, uh... Maybe it's just called Florence. Uh, from Multiplayer. Brotherhood Multiplayer. You must not disrupt our work. Firenze is sick. It's our duty to cure her. How? By forcing our people to follow a madman? It is unwise for you to challenge those in power. Yes. Well, that is about to change. No! You won't take me! Savonarola will know of your treachery! Guards! Guards! Classic calling for guards. It's step one to being a villain. You gotta call for guards when something goes wrong. This is all you stupid fuck. I was a victim. It's not my fault. No, you made the choice. It charmed me with that thing. Only because you allowed it. Lo faccio per il popolo. Reguiescat in pace. I do this for the people. Right, let's go. All right, let's go. I love doing the Ezio voice air quotes. Um, anyway, let's continue. Let's return to Anonymous so we can go take out some more guys. We're doing good. I think we're doing a pretty good job here. Um... Although the sequence is incredibly long, uh, because it's very long-winded because of all the fucking lieutenants. Uh, there we go. Next one. How many got left? Four? Three? Three left? Really? We're taking out five. Wait. No, we're taking out six, right? Yeah. Yeah, six. All right, sweet. We only have three left. That's awesome. Okay. I thought we had four left. Ah, fuck. We have the doctor, the dude you have to fight, and then... Uh, not, you didn't have to fight. Like, you put you into, like, a fighting ring. There's the doctor, and then... Oh, the dude on top of the Duomo. Okay, yeah. Those are the three we have left. Then we have Savonarola, and then we're all done with this sequence, which is nice. This doesn't take... Oh, well, I mean, we're still doing it, but it's not... It's not taking as long as I thought it would, uh, which is good. I suppose it's just because when I, I remember playing it for the first time, and I'm like, oh, this took fucking ages. And when I played it the first time, it wasn't even part of the main game. The first time I played through Assassin's Creed 2 was before they even introduced the DLC. So you actually, like, I, th I think I've only experienced the proper cutscenes and shit, like, once. Because when you come out of the Animus after Ezio has his assassin ceremony thing, it's, it's, Desmond's meant to come out of the Animus and go, like, I need to go back in right now. Like, he does. And then Sean says there's some broken memories. And he's like, I'll try and repair them for later, but... Uh, for now, we'll just skip over those memories. And then he fills you in on what happens in the time. But uh, he doesn't say that when you have the DLC. He um, he just, obviously, like we saw when we when we did it, because we have the DLC, uh, because that's in the collection. He just kind of skims over and then talks about the Pope. That's it. And then he's like, Well, looks in, Desmond, happy days. Because that's exactly where you're going. But, like, you don't go there. But, like, in the actual game, you would have gone straight there. That's why it kind of sounds a bit weird. Um, which is strange. Like, it's... It's weird they didn't change that when the DLC goes in. Plus, I, I really like that original kind of cutscene. Whoa, why has everything gone so, like, orangey? <laughs> That's cool. Anyway. Someone said to me in the comments, um, don't wear the uh, Amor Voltaire the entire time because they don't like it. And I'm like, mm, <laughs> but I really like it. It's my favorite armor, um, ever, like of any Ezio armor, of any Assassin's Creed armor. Oh, I forgot we can't get detected, shit. Um, it's my favorite, like, outfit, any Assassin's Creed outfit. It's my favorite out of every single one, um, because it just looks so fucking awesome. Look at how cool this looks. It's beautiful. It's fucking Ezio's master Assassin robes, in my opinion. Like, I mean, I, I get that, like, Brotherhood is technically his master assassin robes and then like you know he's, he's a mentor in revelations and like he's you know just that's just kind of just his constant noble traveling robes you know but like i would fucking love to see revelations Ezio in the brotherhood robes think how cool that would look that'd be pretty awesome i think why i don't know i don't really know why they didn't include all of the different assassins like uh, all of the Ezio robes in revelations like i don't really understand 
And I also don't understand why they didn't include, like, AC2, Ezio's robes in Brotherhood as well. Because it's literally running on the same engine. Like, just port the outfit over. Like, I don't understand why that's not in the game. It, it will never make sense to me. Um, because they can just put it in the game. Plus, they literally have it in the game. You play with Ezio's AC2 outfit during the Christina memories. So why the fuck is it not just in the game as an outfit you can wear? I don't know, because the armor of Altair is as well. So it does not make sense to me why that was never in the game. Like... Oh, fucking hell, he... He's fucking... No. I'm not... I'm not about this life, Mr. Guardman. This entire memory, we just have this dude singing Latin the entire time. I want to die. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. I'm just listening to his song, his beautiful song. I just, uh, God, I'm so fucking entranced by it. Why can't I climb that? That's dumb. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. Okay, this will either work or it won't work at all. Oh, well, I mean, I'm happy that that happened. Um, brilliant. I thought he preached the word of God. A fiery sermon is a lie. I led my flock astray. It's just... I wanted so badly to believe. We all do. We all do. Pedro Computa, l'opera di mio padre, requiescat in pace. No! My controller's vibrating on my desk. Okay, okay, next one, we have two more to go, sweet. Um, I'm really pleased about this, let's pick him up and throw him off the building, because we're respectful assassins that uh, clean up after ourselves. Oh my god! That's hilarious! Oh god! Sweet. Good. I'm proud of us. Oh god, Ezio! Bro. Bro wait, let's, should we see if we can get this, hit this leap of faith? Bro! We did it! I wasn't expecting that to work! Oh, I'm proud of us. I'm so proud. I'm super proud. Give me a high five. We did a good job. Alright, next lieutenant. Uh, we have the doctor, and we have the dude who wants to fight. Uh, so we'll go for this one here. Which I believe is the dude who wants to fight, not the doctor. Um, there he is. This is our target. Look, there he is. What happened to his corpse? Nothing. He's fine. Alright. Lol. Do as you will with him. Okay. That was funny. Okay, let's head over to the estimation mark. Sometimes I have to do things like that, otherwise I would just go mad playing these games over and over again. Oh, look at the fucking sun, that's aggressive. That's almost like Mafia 3 sun. Where is the sun? I can't even see it. There is no sun there, that's cloud. Look at it, it's just a cloud. I, base, I kind of avoid feathers, all because I want to collect them at the very end when I can have like a map. Um, off of, like, the internet, so I can cheat. Uh, because who the fuck locates all the feathers on their own? Like, come on, let's be honest. Who the fuck go ro goes around searching for the feathers? Like, who does that with any collectible? Like, that's just dumb. Something is wrong here. Another cherries, everyone. Excellent. Savannah Rola warned me that some would oppose our rule. And so I devised this little trap. To ferret out those foolish enough to play at hero. It's proven to be both entertaining and effective. Incoming Charmo! 
Climbing the ranks. It isn't gonna work because I'm just gonna climb up here and I'm gonna fuck- Oh, wow. Someone's a dickhead. There we go. No. <laughs> Cut his fucking throat. Is this truly who I was? So proud and cruel. No. Savonarola bewitched you. Did he? Or was it that I tasted the power and found myself intoxicated? I wish I had been stronger. As do I. Mirin cresce, ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace. Oh, it sucks. We have to kill so many people that didn't really want to do bad. It's just because... Oh, shit, we don't have any smoke bombs. Ow, you little fucking dick. No! And we're out of here. Ben fatto. Okay. We did it! One more to go, lads. Sweet. That one didn't have Paola and La Volpe doing a little doing a little stroll. Disappointed. I look forward to that. That's the only reason I fucking did did did, did, did to kill me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's hop to the top. And let's <laughs> let's let's go to the next mission. Um, this is the last one, the last lieutenant we need to take out. Awesome. This will be quite the long episode. And here we are. It's quite simple, Amici. If you desire care, you'll submit yourselves fully to our new ruler. <laughs> he sounded like Leonardo. It's simple. If you want care, you'll submit yourself fully to our new ruler. It is simple. Continue to support the Medici who, as you know, have long since fled the Or accept Savonarola. Why fight him? Why refuse? He is a good man. LOL, get the fuck! I'm out of here! You have spilled the blood of a healer. No, I have spilled the blood of a tyrant. To command such power over the body, between this world and the next, it seems I grew intoxicated. And now you grow still. La tua morte non sarà inutile. Requiescat in pace. Okay, and let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go. This way, let's go. We can hop over here, and we're all good. Eccolo! There! On him! Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is a good escape route. We did a pretty fucking good job there. I'm proud of that. You shouldn't be up here, so don't. <laughs> I love that one. That's great. We did it. We did it. Time to take out Savonarola now. The big boy. Big boy Sava. Let's do it. Um, I'm ready. I'm excited. We can have Ezio's awesome fucking speech. Oh, we don't need to hit the map because it's on the map. Okay. That looks really nice. Hold on. When I was here, it had like unity lighting. It looked really cool. 
Oh, I didn't do it that time. That was really nice. Leave! You're not supposed to be up here! That's what they sound like. You're not meant to be here! <laughs> Leave! Before I make you... <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Um, how far are we? We're getting there. This is around the time when Christina dies. Oh no. From Brotherhood. Oh no. Plus, as well, I actually want to say, because, you know, the auto like the Ultimate Marvel Tail Rose, please don't wear it. I, it's full sync. Like, he wear, like, this is Ed, what Ezio did. He wore the robes. I can't, I can't change that shit. Because, you see, he wears them at the beginning of Brotherhood, and they're in the Christina memory. So, as soon as he got them, he wore the robe, like, the robes and the armor. Like, that's just what he did. That's, I gotta full sync it up. I can't take them off. Like, that's just what he did, bro. Um, but, you know. I'm kind of thinking, I might do with Brotherhood, because there's a bunch of others, like, because I'm not just going to go straight through the, with the Let's Play, I'm not just going to speed through the main story like I have with this, there's a bunch of side shit. I might do the shop quests, I think, because I really want to, I really want to do, get the, get the Susanhofer armor, because I really like it, so maybe I'll do that, um... Because I think the Susanhofer armor on the Brotherhood robes looks fucking great for a start. And it's as powerful as armor of uh, Brutus, except it can break. Um, and I don't like the armor of Brutus, so it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Here we go. You've done well, What happens now? Watch. Silence! I demand silence! should be cleansing your home, cleansing yourself. There are bonfires to see, prayers to be said, penance to be done. You will do as I command. You will stop. Find the earth, It can't be far. Sweet. I oh know, Borgicaria swooped in and picked it up. Let's do it. Let's track him down and get him. Watch it do that thing that this collection does where you can just catch people way earlier than you should. Um, it's actually really strange. Oh, I would probably would have done it if I hadn't grabbed onto there. It's really weird. There's something with this collection where when you're meant to be chasing people, you can catch them way sooner than you're meant to. It's really... Oh, how dare you, little bitch. Oh, God. Okay, this time I've messed up, but still. Fucking little retard. Apple retrieved. He's dead, our name! Oh god. He's getting away! Getting away! That's, they, they're all fucking retarded sounding. God, I have a hope for 100,000 florins, fuck. Let's just wait here till we're hidden. What is going on? There we go. Sweet. Does Florence look all pretty again? Because it should do, because he doesn't have the apple anymore. No, it still looks dodgy. Huh. I guess it's just this whole sequence. It'll go back to normal afterwards. Okay. We have to go to the uh, Palazzo della Signoria. So this is 22 years after... His father and brothers were killed, so. You know what I think's weird? 
is when he's with when he with Barcelona. I'm pretty sure that's ten years after. So eleven years between then and now. What the fuck have they been doing for eleven years? Because eleven years between becoming a master assassin and this. What the fuck? No, that can't be right. There's gotta be something 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 definitely wrong there. I must be counting wrong. It must must have been ten years from when you first get to Venice, right? I think that might be the case. Because this is this is fourteen ninety two, right? Um I don't know. But yeah, twenty two years, so that's two, that's that's nineteen. So he's thirty nine now. Really? Thirty nine? Fuck. Damn. Thirty nine years Oh, I've gone too far, shit. I was too busy fucking working out dates that I fucked up. No one deserves to die in such pain. Is that what he says? I think that's what he says. No one deserves to yeah. die in such pain. It's you. I knew this day would come. Please, show mercy. I have. Oh, I love that line. Ora, che sia il tuo Dio a giudicarti, requiescat in pace. Silenzio! Silenzio! Twenty-two years ago. I stood where I stand now and watched my loved ones die, betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind and would have consumed me were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers, but guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. Not Savonarola, not the Medici. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose whatever you think is true that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers, to show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me or anyone else. Ah, oh, such a fantastic scene. Love that so much. That's so awesome. That's always going to be, you know, oh, a, a top moment in Assassin's Creed, I think. Oh, it's just so great. Well, now it's time to collect the Codex pages um, and make our way to Rome. So I'm going to collect the Codex pages off screen. Uh, so next episode, when I return, we'll head straight to the Vatican. Uh, to go after Rodrigo Borgia and the vault, which should be a good time. So, uh, until then, uh, which will be whenever, I don't really fucking know, I think it'll be in a couple of hours actually when that episode goes up, depending on when this goes up, because I'm not entirely sure of timings. However, 
thanks for watching, uh, and I'll, I'll see you when we have all the codex pages for the next episode.